when did you get into teaching at university? Uh, I know you teach my friend over there. Um, uh, what, what, how did you, what was the train? How'd you get that position and what do you, what do you t teach all that kind of stuff? Yeah. So, um, this will be my third year teaching with Scott. And, um, I always had thought that I would love to teach immigration law. Um, I don't know that I really understood what that desire really was until I did it, but I always thought that that would be really satisfying to kind of shape and mold future immigration lawyers and just future lawyers in general. Um, Scott interned with me a while ago now, and then he went to St. Thomas and they reached out to him and they generally like to have two professors co-teach um, kind of with different and varying levels of experience. And so he reached out to me um, to see if I would be interested. And I was definitely interested. Um, and so then I met with the school and kind of shared information about my background and experience. Um, so it all just kind of came to me. I wasn't really looking for it specifically. Um, I was already, I think, was I already, was I running for office at the time? Like I was already in politics and I, I wasn't, this is like a pattern in my life is I was like, Oh, I don't know if I have the bandwidth. I don't know if I should do this, but I've always wanted to. And my husband telling me like, you should go for it. Mm -hmm. Like you've always wanted to do this. And, um, and so just being supported at home, I've got two kids. So, um, so yeah, so it's, um, it's honestly very, very hard. Um, so like, so you're an adjunct too, right? I, I, I stopped. It was too much. Oh. It was Really hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard you understand. <laughs> I, my whole theory of the case so I was I was like really it, I, it was a struggle for me because I like my theory is that my I had a mismatched um, alignment of like my expectations were really high and my skill level was really low yeah. <laughs> like I'm really good at immigration law but like teaching, teaching is his own thing though. yeah yeah. So like last year, my my skill level went up a bit and my expectations went down a bit and they still wasn't like aligned. But I'm like, this is the year that my my skill level will go up. My expectations will be reasonable and um, and hopefully it'll work out like my my goal. I'm changing up my whole curriculum this year. I was working. We were working from a traditional textbook and it just really isn't great for immigration law to do that. So now we're going to work from ALA materials, just providing more practical summaries and, and reading materials for the various areas of immigration law. And I think it will, I think it will be more natural to my own kind of style of education. Cause I'm very like in the weeds, like whenever I present at a conference, I'm the one who's like really practical, like, and not high level theory, but like really yeah. practical. Here's how you approach these types of technical challenges. And so I think it'll be a much more satisfying, like, I think each year is hopefully going to get better. And then they say like after three years, things click mm -hmm. and then you like get more confident and it doesn't take quite as much mental energy. Um, so, yeah, so I would say like, it's a labor of love. It's not coming naturally to me, but I mean, I'm pretty hard on myself, like students seem fairly satisfied and we had over um, enrollment this year. So we gave permission mm -hmm. 10 more students so I think we're gonna have 40 wow. students in the class so I guess they like it yeah, yeah. maybe they just I, like stat though maybe they're just putting up with me <laughs> this is another topic we got to sit and talk about do another episode about the teaching and all that stuff and be, I should get to have more people on to talk about that because it's a whole thing it's just like a, it's a whole thing uh yeah. it, it, just create a curriculum itself and and so you have a full it's a course is everything immigration or is it like mm -hmm. a, yeah. yeah so yeah. it's just so much of a talk about and it's overwhelming for i, I realized like i'm overwhelmed the hell of these students like that's too much information for them yeah and my plan is to go deeper rather than wider because the textbook tried to like touch on everything yeah and like i think i'm gonna do a whole class that's just on h's this year rather than trying to shove in like M's, like who cares about vocational students? I mean, I, I'm sure they're lovely people, but like my students so don't rare, yeah, so know. And like, they're just like, I was trying to shove in some like physician J1 stuff. And I feel like it would be more kind of intellectually meaningful to like really dive into the interesting nuances of H1Bs than to try to cover like literal entire alphabet soup of non-immigrant visas. Yeah. yeah it's it's immigration one of my friends here in le uh he made it to a five unit course and so it's a lot of hours and so mm -hmm. less students doing it but it's really intense because there's so many units mine mm -hmm. was like two maybe three units uh mm -hmm. at Loyola out of pepperdine uh but uh it's just a lot of work and i i, I keep thinking i'm 
doing a disservice because it's just I'm inundating with so much information and they're kind of sometimes I'll see their eyes they're like what's going on with like all these letters and numbers and stuff and I was like you know I need to spend so much time doing a good job on this that I just can't I can't do it so I, I passed the baton to someone else but it was a really cherished experience I have a good relationship with the, the student a lot of them are immigration lawyers now so a lot of my four students are like better than me at doing EB1s and NIWs now and stuff like that so it's amazing to see that, that happen uh yeah, so okay, so let's talk to, I'm sorry you must have been good at it if you have so many of your former students actually went into the profession. Yeah, they were really, I mean, like the thing about immigration is they already like it so much they're coming in. A lot of them want to do humanitarian work, asylum stuff, which I don't do. So they were, a lot of them were dissatisfied because I kind of do lip service to that portion of the class and they go into family-based and employment-based. Uh, mm -hmm. But a lot of the humanitarian ones end up doing, uh, you know, business kind of stuff and they're, they're doing great and uh, like, it's amazing. So yeah, it's, it's, it's really wonderful. So uh, let's talk, cause I know you, I'm keeping you here longer than I, than I expected, but it's, oh, so it's an interesting conversation. conversation.